Hi everyone, this is Claire. I'm so glad to have you here. So I made really simple, inexpensive stands that you can use to display your items or your decor at home and they are really easy to make. Um, so I'll link all the material in the description box below. So just keep watching. For this project, I mainly used foam board that I got from the Dollar Tree, but if you have cardboard, you can use it as well. It will work perfectly. So I started by drawing a circle with radius 6.5 inches and I drew two of these circles on one foam board. I used a knife to cut out these two pieces. Just take your time with them so you have more perfect circles. And also, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload. Thank you! All together, I cut out four pieces and then I'll be pairing them up and gluing them together using hot glue. So these are the two pieces I have. One will be the bottom, the other will be the top. So I just got my filer and filed the edges. Now you want to do this just to smoothen out, especially if you're using foam board. I put that aside and now I'll be drawing uh, rectangles. This will be 23 inches by 13 inches and I just cut them out the same way using a knife. And I made two of these pieces. And now I measured the middle points for this um, foam board. This will help me to draw a groove. I then cut it out using my knife uh, on the longer side. Um, it's really small, it's just like the thickness of this foam board. I did the, the same procedure to the other board as well and now I'll be joining these two boards uh, together. If the groove is too small, it will be a little bit tight and hard to pull them together, but you can always come out with this shape after some time. And this is what will be the middle of my stand. I then just added hot glue on all the edges just to seal them together and just make sure they won't really fall apart. For this step, I'm using E6000 and hot glue to glue the round um, base onto these foam boards. Like I said before, you can easily substitute the foam board with the cardboard if you have it, whatever you really wish to use. Just please hold on to this um, piece before you let go so the glue can really dry and the piece would really be stronger. And then I also decided to add extra hot glue on all the edges. And I basically did the same procedure for the other end as well. So this is how the piece looks like. Um, and then I decided to also add more um, foam boards in the middle of these uh, quadrants. Um, this is to help me just make it a little bit more firm. So I just used extra four pieces and then also I added hot glue on all the ends that I could um, just to seal it up. And then, so the length for this is uh, still the same, but the width is just half of what we had before in the foam boards. So this is how the entire piece looks like. And now I'll be working on the outer end. I got this poster board from uh, Dollar Tree, but it's not really long enough or wide enough to really fill up the entire piece. So I just joined them together using hot glue and I sealed the inside as well with um, tape just to make sure the ends don't fall apart. So the height of this poster board is the height of the stand, but then the length would be approximately 45 inches. I simply used hot glue to attach the poster board onto my foam boards, but I basically only uh, glued the top part and the lower part, not the middle part.
The only problem I faced with my piece was I made this uh, post about too exact, so I was having problem joining these parts together. So I just put duct tape for now, but I'll remove it and put some other decoration. So using the 45 inches will really work for you. Um, so this is how this piece looks like, but I noticed it was not really so steady. So I decided to make a second piece. This second piece is shorter than the first one, but what I did was to glue stones at the base. I got these stones from the Dollar Tree and I just used hot glue to put them. And this made the stand more firm, uh, it can't easily topple. And then I basically repeated the same procedure like I did before and put poster board around it. So this is how it looks like and I think it was more firm um, and I preferred this. So this would be a better option for you to do. Um, so I also opted to get a rectangular base um, because of where I was going to place it. So the dimensions for this are 14 inches by 15 inches. I basically glued two boards together and I'll be covering them with contact paper. So this is how it looks like and I'll basically just place my stand onto this base and it will really be more firm um, than it was before. So all these are really options that you can use. To cover all these rough edges, I'll be using these chandelier beads that I got online and I'll just be using hot glue to attach them. I also use them to cover the joining parts for the cupboards on the sides and so I'll be doing the same thing for this edge and also the other edge as well. If you want your piece plain, this is a good place to stop or you can spray paint them silver or gold or you can use contact paper, mirror contact paper, whichever way you would really want your stand to look. I decided to just add other decorations. Um, I got these pieces from Hobby Lobby. I think they were $2 and I'll just be attaching them um, on the top part. I also picked these glittering feathers from Hobby Lobby at $1 each and I'll be using six pieces and I'll just be attaching them at the base of the stand using hot glue as well. For these gems I got from the 99 cent store and I'll just be attaching them at the top because I cut these leaves and I just didn't want the way it was looking. And then I also picked these uh, branches from the Dollar Tree and I'll just be um, putting them at the base in between the feathers. This stand is so beautiful, it's glittering, it's looking so elegant. I just love how the whole entire piece really came out and I was able to put my different decor pieces together. I got these also from Hobby Lobby, they were one dollar and I'll be attaching them around uh, the stand on the top part and the lower part as well. And then remember the part that I had put duct tape, I removed that and put this floral wrap. And then I'll also be adding um, these leaves, I'll just be randomly placing them onto this um, stand using hot glue. So this is the piece that I'm cutting from, uh, it was one dollar and I'm just going to be using all the leaves that I can around it. I 
ended up adding these gems that I got from Walmart uh, and I think the piece really came out so beautifully. If you did love this as well, just please give me a thumbs up, share this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell so that you're updated every time that I have new uploads. I thank you guys so, so, so much for your support, for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.